So what we're going to do is plug it into x, I'm sorry, as h approaches 0. And what I'm basically going to do is evaluate here. Um, remember, we have f of x plus h minus f of x all over um, h. So this is a very, very basic example. However, if I'm going to, to plug in, if I'm going to plug in x plus h into this function, I am going to now get out x plus h minus f of x. f of x is just equal to x all over h. Now let's go and simplify this. x minus x is 0. h divided by 0 is 1. So the local linearity for this equation, no matter where I choose it, seems like it's always 1. Well, let's see if this kind of makes sense. If I look at the identity graph, that's what f of x equals x is. Does the slope change at all? Does the slope change? No, it's, right? it's a constant slope. So therefore, it makes sense that it doesn't matter if you choose 0. It doesn't matter if you choose 3. Wherever point you pick, you're always going to have a slope of 1. It's never changing. It's always the same. It's constant. It's not like the one we did before. It's always changing. Okay? I'm sorry. It's always the same. So the local linearity, um, using what we call the difference quotient, which I'll give you guys formal notes here later, here exactly is going to be equal to 1. So that's the basic of the most basic.